Before 1956, there was only one golf course in Tallahassee. And while African Americans could work at the course, they were not treated equally. What hurt so bad was we could caddy over there, but we couldn't play. We used to sneak onto the golf course, the backside of old, old Magnolia Drive. Sometimes they catch us and run us away. Sometimes we get a chance to play those three holes over and over and over again. When Jake Gaither first opened on December 14, 1956, it gave African Americans an opportunity to play the game. Among them was Leroy Kilpatrick. He made the Guinness Book of World Records in 1995 for playing a whopping 1,363 holes at Jake Gaither in seven days. Now in his 80s, Kilpatrick was 16 when he and his friends played Jake Gaither Golf Course on opening day. He remembers it like it was yesterday. And we was out here knowing the golf course was opening. And when the mayor of them came in and he went down and played one hole, uh, and they left. And when they left, we hit the golf course. Retired Florida a and business school professor Ronald Tate had an early encounter with Jake Gaither Golf Course as well. When I first came to Tallahassee uh, to go to FAMU, Jake Gaither was our home course, our only course that we could play in Tallahassee and it wasn't very fancy at all, uh, to say the least. Uh, very, very Spartan. Since its humble beginnings, the course has received many enhancements. Jan Auger, longtime manager of the Jake Gaither and Heilemann golf courses, has overseen the progress. We've really improved the, the fairways. There's a lot more definition to the fairways, and we put cart paths all throughout the golf course. We've added a lot of landscaping that looks just tremendous, and we've also renovated the bathrooms and we are in the process of renovating the pro shop. It's gonna look fantastic. Irene Perry doesn't get to go to the golf course much anymore, and she misses it. I just wish that I could be out here. Every day I would, I would slip out here. My husband didn't even know where I was. <laughs> Miss Irene Perry was here. She was the only lady on this golf course, and they would always tell her, go home, get away from me, get away from me. I said to them, I said, nah, uh, she's gonna play here one day. And Miss Perry didn't just play golf, she excelled at the sport, becoming president of Jake Gaither's Women's Golf League. It would be certainly nice if we had an organization just for women. You know, not only are we doing something for ourselves, but we're doing something for the community in general. Now it's a top. Coach Helper takes the top. Good. Jake Gaither Golf Course is a favorite of Jaworski Vance. He's an executive director at Fathers, Brothers, and Sons, a nonprofit dedicated to fatherlessness and racial reconciliation. And one of the things that we do to address those two issues is teach young people from minority communities how to play golf. And we do that out here at Jake Aether. I want to let you young people know that if you're here for golf, golf will open doors for you. All the kids in this program we don't want to do great things in life. And you know, kids of today is the leaders of tomorrow, and that's what we're looking for, and that's what we started back then. Be committed, stay focused, and that's golf. Scott Edwards is working on getting Jake Gaither Golf Course added to the National Register of Historic Places. Edwards grew up in Tallahassee and is no stranger to the golf course because he too played there as a kid. My father and my older brother, we'd come out here and play, and. We were just some of the regulars that would come out here all the time. So over the years, I had been collecting data on the golf course itself, and probably within the last few years, we really started pushing hard of doing research and documenting um, the beginnings of the golf course here. Being listed on the National Register, it just uh, puts Gaither's place in American cultural heritage, and it's a showcase for that. Um, it will highlight the history that's here that most people have no idea when they come out here and play. My hope is it's going to be added to the historic designation, the National Historic Designation, and to get the recognition that it deserves. Jake Gaither has always been a hub to bring the community together. It's all beautiful. I just love it, and I love the way the golf course looks today. The city of Tallahassee's Jake Gaither Golf Course is 65 years old. A pillar of the community, the course has brought generations of golfers together and will continue to be a uniting force for years to come. It's a golf course for everyone and it's going to get the notoriety it deserves.